What is going on, YouTube? We are back here, ready for our YouTube play of the day video. Um, half past the prop here in about two hours or so. Um, obviously going to be doing all NBA with a 10 game slate tonight. So college basketball time for you guys. Um, only going to do one play today. Obviously got to make sure I get all my NBA stuff out ready for you guys and ready for us to go live there. So we have a shit recap today. Um, this ended up being plus 140. Nikola Vucevic had eight rebounds at half and did not grab a second half rebound. So Buddy Heel came through. Um, even the other version, the Buddy Heel four threes would have came through. Um, Vucevic 10 rebounds still wouldn't have even made it. So it, it was just weird to see how active he was in the first half. Um, and this is something that I've had before happen to me. So um, we went with the first night, right? The first day of the doubleheader. Um, we ended up getting that one. So obviously we had points rebounds on past the prop and that cashed pretty easily. Um, but then the second night, I guess we got to look more into back to backs. I looked into it. Um, we talked about it on the stream. He was averaging 36 minutes in those. He didn't even get to 36 minutes um, yesterday. So that was unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, it happens, um, but obviously not what we want it to be. Toledo shit the bed for us there. Um, first 10 minutes was very, very poor. Um, Amani Bates, Jesus Christ, the guy went absolutely berserk. Um, so that was obviously not the the greatest there. Um, but uh, yeah, we should be able to um, bounce back today in my, one of my favorite conferences, the SoCon. Um, so obviously what we talking about that here in a second um, but they almost lost they almost lost to uh, the worst team in the MAC. so not a great performance uh probably gonna be taking a little time off of the toledo train um after they just couldn't score they couldn't score um couldn't shoot the three ball and uh yeah it, it happened so i'll get all my up updated records here coming shortly um been a little bit on a little downswing here in these last couple um prior to the so I think we missed like our last three. So we got to come back. We got to bounce back. And that's how it goes. Um, obviously, college basketball, we've been pretty good so far this season. Um, so we're going to go right back to it. So only play of the day here is going to be Furman Sanford. It's going to be over 150 and a half. This is over on FanDuel. I'm seeing DraftKings offer this at 151, um, just flat. So that is an option as well if you're over on DraftKings. So. You can obviously see this is where it's at, minus 112. I actually have a, a better line there. So we can obviously use that um, that line there. But a lot of things to talk about in this matchup. First thing I want to get off my chest here is when we have guys looking at games, right, and you have people looking at um, – because this is going to probably come up in the comments or you guys are going to mention this to yourself. Looking at last year's matchup, why are you taking the over at 150? What Why? They played twice last year, and it didn't even come close to this number. And uh, hopefully you guys tuned in to our show, Pass the Prop, with Mike Randall, because uh, we kind of talked about this a little bit. Furman, and you obviously look at Wofford, too. Furman, um, last year, was a defensive juggernaut. They were very, very good. One of the top defenses in the SoCon, um, and they played extremely slow. 278 in pace last year. Um, we've seen a 5 possession boost so they went to top 100 they're now 79th in adjusted tempo that's almost five possession boosts from last year so obviously they're playing quicker their offense is still just as good 40th in the country in adjusted offense and now Sanford's actually much much better right we're, we're actually seeing them play much better another top one top 80 adjusted offense on the Sanford side they play slow so last year the tempo was slow both of them knew what they wanted to do and play slow Furman's not going to do that this year. We, we've seen them um, with three studs scoring over 10 point, over 11 points a game. Foster, Slauson, and Bothwell, all of them are fantastic. Um, and this just matches up well, right? We talked about it in a lot of these matchups, right? Rebound guys, we're looking for guys to have people down low so they can work um, in the paint. This matchup is fantastic, right? Obviously, Furman is a top 20 first half scoring team. We obviously really like that. Um, but... What I do really, really like is just how bad these two teams are at guarding the three-point line. Um, Samford is 28th worst, so they average, they give up 38% from three. That is obviously very, very bad. Furman on the year shoots 35% from three, so that's obviously uh, a good matchup already. Good start, right? We're going to have open three-point shots. Samford shoots the three ball at a top 50 rate, 36%. So obviously that's very good too. That's elite. 
in Furman, it's allowing 35%. They're in the bottom 100. So we've seen this a lot, a lot of struggles from guarding the three ball. So I think we're going to easily see that, and we're going to obviously come through. Um, and I'm, I'm pumped to see those three balls go up in this matchup. Pace should be there. Three-point shots, what they want to do should be there. So obviously we're going to be very, very pumped to see some three balls be shot all over the place in this one. Um, and then obviously looking at Furman's um, last couple games here, they've been very, very, very good. Um, obviously crushed this number against Wofford and played a very tough Chattanooga team. We're going back home, so I love to see it. So that's what we're rolling with today, over 150 and a half on FanDuel. So thank you guys so much for tuning in with us today. Furman Sanford over 150 and a half, minus 112 over on FanDuel. So have a good one, guys. Best of luck, and uh, let's crush this slate.